Hey guys, in this video we'll be trying to understand Bernoulli's equation before we get into some examples in the next few videos. So this video is purely theoretical. Skip ahead if you want to see the equation in practice. So here is the Bernoulli equation in one form. Uh, it's used extensively throughout fluid mechanics. Um, and what we do is apply it along a streamline. So if we apply this along a streamline at either end of the streamline, or on two points on that streamline, they, the result of the equation equals the same constant. So what we do is divide through by rho g, and we get this equation here, which compares one point on that streamline to another. So remembering this formula is pretty much essential, so try to encode this in your brain. Um, you'll be using it, uh, using it a lot throughout this topic and the next few topics. So Bernoulli's equation can be thought of in a few different ways. If you look at the three different terms here, we've got P1 on rho g, uh, V squared on 2g, and Z1. Each of these can be represented by different things. So uh, the first way of thinking about it is that the first term is work done by the power force. Second term is kinetic energy because it involves a velocity, and the height here uh, gives the potential energy. Another way is to think about it in terms of pressure. We have static pressure, dynamic pressure, and hydrostatic pressure. Then there's pressure head, velocity head, and elevation head. So let's think of it in terms of head. But essentially, the uh, Bernoulli equation is a conservation of energy equation. So the way we approach problems involving the Bernoulli equation is we have to first select a datum. So a datum is simply a reference line to which all heights are compared. Since we're comparing Z2 to Z1, only the height difference is needed. Uh, so the datum can really be anywhere. Uh, so in this diagram, if we establish a datum, say at the bottom of the tank here, we'll say the datum's there. And along the bottom of the tank, uh, we just need to make sure that we're consistent with our datum. So every time we consider the datum, uh, it is always on the bottom. We can't change where the datum is, otherwise that would render what we're doing pointless. Um, so remember that it must be consistent. I've established it at the bottom of the tank. Um, and it is pretty much essential to always write in your datum because uh, then you don't really know in your working out what you're referring to in terms of your Z1 and Z2. So next we choose a streamline. We choose a streamline for which we know the most about the two endpoints. Um, so that'll enable us to solve the equation for hopefully only one unknown. In some cases you might get 